In today's video, I'm going to teach you the basics of the table command in AutoCAD. Understanding how to insert and manipulate tables can be incredibly beneficial for organizing data, making your designs more interactive and easier to understand. So, let's get right into it. To start off, you'll want to type the word table into the command line and press enter. This action will open up the Insert Table dialog box, which is where all the magic happens. You'll notice that you have a couple of options right away. You can choose to build your table from scratch, starting with an empty format, or you can import data from a data link. For this demonstration, let's walk through creating an empty table to make sure you're comfortable with all the fundamental elements. Once you choose to start with an empty table, you'll encounter options regarding insertion behavior. Here you have the choice between specifying an insertion point or a window. Now this might sound a bit technical, but in simpler terms, these options dictate where and how your table will appear in your drawing. Choosing the right insertion behavior can make a big difference depending on your project's requirements. If you're uncertain, try experimenting a little to see which method suits your workflow best. On the same dialog box, you'll find settings to adjust the number of columns and rows your table will have. Imagine your table like a blank spreadsheet. You can customize it with however many columns and rows you need. This customization aspect is particularly helpful depending on the complexity or simplicity of the data you're handling. So take a little time to consider what makes sense for your particular project. Adjust these numbers accordingly, ensuring your table structure will accommodate all the information you intend to include. Once you've set the number of columns and rows to your liking, you're ready to click OK. Now, remember earlier when we talked about insertion behavior. The choice you made there will now come into play. Depending on whether you specified an insertion point or a window, your table will either appear where you click on the drawing or within the defined area you've outlined. And there you have it. With these straightforward steps, you've successfully inserted a table into your AutoCAD project. As you become more familiar with these options, you'll find that tables can be customized further to enhance their appearance and functionality, allowing you to better organize your drawing information. Whether organizing a bill of materials or just keeping notes, by practicing these steps, you'll feel more confident integrating tables into your designs. I hope this tutorial has simplified your understanding of the table command. Keep experimenting with different settings and see how you can adapt this feature to your needs. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back for more tips on mastering AutoCAD. 